We're going to cover creating just a regular purchase order for inventory that would go on your shelf or even a service uh, that you might uh, be issuing a purchase order for. So we'll start on the purchase orders tab and we can just hit new. And we have this feature called location. It's important to know that you can define these locations here and the location is simply all of the details about where you might want to issue a purchase order to. So if you have a single location, you just have one location. You might have multiple locations. You could just uh, create those locations here and then you just call them up when you go to create a purchase order. So it's a nice feature to have when um, you're, you're trying to quickly create a purchase order and you just want to make sure it gets shipped to the right location. Then you select the vendor and we're also doing some defaulting on the supplier. So for instance, within uh, the supplier you're defining the contact who would be the default contact at that supplier so that all of the contact information, their address would get populated uh, here immediately without having to hand enter it. And the same thing about the location. If uh, you enter it here, then you don't have to fill out all of this information over here. And then we're also defaulting in the PDF and email template that will be used to send uh, the purchase order. So you see we only had to fill out two pieces of information, uh, with the location and then the supplier, and the rest of it takes care of itself. And we can add the date. What's really nice, it just uh, filled in uh, the supplier information, the default uh, contact at that location, their address, and the address where you want all these things shipped to. And of course, the, our PDF templates, when you go to preview the PDF, all of those template items are um, edited through a WYSIWYG. Uh, editor so it's easy to change the logo address and so on and so forth we have another video that covers uh, the PDF pieces for this uh, video we're just going to create a simple purchase order and I already kind of snuck ahead and showed you what that looks like but we'll just pick an item quantity two of those at ten dollars and fifty cents and you can even make a comment on here Need them in gray. Perfect. Okay, so there's your purchase order. You could make some additional notes on here. We've got some standard notes uh, that you can modify this pick list. A lot of people like to put in their UPS account number in the pick list, so it would say ship to us, you know, on our account, that kind of thing. Uh, so you can put that in there leave at rear door, signature required, whatever you might have. And these things appear on the face of the purchase order as well. You can, as mentioned, you can adjust any of these fields, even these column headings here. And we create these total for the purchase order as well. By hitting send, uh, you will use the email template that will send a copy of this um, this PDF attachment and then uh, the formatted email to the supplier. Pretty straightforward.